Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? My name is Joe, aka Cool Runnings. I use he, him, and pronouns. I'm a variety streamer. It is five o'clock in the morning, and uh, I am ready to spend a little bit of time with you and a little bit of time with these these weights, these weights, these these beautiful pieces of iron and steel and fake iron and fake steel. How are we doing, Beck? Hello, Borgs. Good morning. Good I, good good evening to you, Beck. Um, I know you're just you're wrapping up your day now, huh? Funny how that works with our time zones. Well, good morning, good morning. I haven't quite finished everything yet, so I hope you'll pardon me if I eat a little bit while we're uh, while we're doing our business here. Mm. Ooh, woo! I, it didn't play for some reason. It's broken. It's broken. So I'll give you an ooh woo of my own. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Toast time, baby. All right. How we doing? I feel like I talked to a lot of you like 10 hours ago, but doesn't mean I don't want to know how you're doing. We're doing a poll day. Polio, polio Wednesday. Pull, pull yo, pull yo butt out of bed Wednesday. The real ooh-woo. The real... Goodness. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start off with some rows. We're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a five by three by two fifteen on those rows. We're gonna give that a go. Do our uh, band pulls as usual because we like to do those band pulls for a big, big healthy strong back and uh, do some warm ups along with that for our incline bench. It's great to see you at this time. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, Borgs. That, that means a lot, because, um, gosh, I was, I, I had all these, like, injuries that kept popping up, and I look back, and I think it really was that I just wasn't getting enough sleep. Like, I wasn't eating enough, I wasn't sleeping enough, I was overtraining. Um, it's great to see you at this butt me, yes. <laughs> um, and, it, yeah, I don't, I don't know, it was a, it was a combination of things that, uh, as I was thinking about like my schedule, like allowing me to to lift a little bit later on Wednesdays, I wanted to just try it out for a couple of weeks. And yeah, yeah, I mean today, like if I want this to happen today, I needed to make it happen before work and before I leave to the office, which was what um, the original deal was. Holy hell, my PC was not plugged in and the battery was about to die. That was very strange, but it's all good now. Yeah, yeah. So it's certainly not that I don't like getting up early because honestly I do. I love getting up early and getting this done because then I get out of work and like I'm just like done on Wednesday. It's phenomenal. Has you not been working on Wednesdays? I had been. Um, it was either, honestly, it, it kept on having to happen at like three o'clock, four o'clock um, in the afternoon, which like I don't like as much, right? Like, I like lifting in the middle of the day. I like lifting early. I don't like lifting after work because then it feels like, it feels more like a chore to me. Like, when I'm doing workouts, um, ooh, easy burls. When I'm doing workouts uh, at other times of the day, it feels very much like something that I'm doing for myself. Um, but, like, when I do it after work, it's like, oh, well, now I'm just trying to, now I'm just trying to get it done. Bro, you're awake very early. What up, Sweet Lou? How we doing? Yes, I am. I'm, 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 uh, I'm awake very early. I used to, as I was just talking to Borgs about, um, I used to do this, like, every week. We used to do this every week. ZDC, what's up, friend? Oh, and Paul's here, too. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to finish out writing this routine. <laughs> but, yeah, Wednesdays have just been, Wednesdays have just been a little bit different. A little bit different. Um... And uh, now we're gonna try. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try this again. Uh, we're gonna do some hamstring bridges, which are gonna be very fun. Uh, can I spell it right? Bridges. Sam Porter hamstring bridges, and then uh, some DB hammer curls. Do 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 do. Uh, DB hammer curls, and those are gonna be forty. You no, know, it's four by eight by forty, ideally. Um, what's the next set? We got DB rows. That's gonna be a 
3 by 12 by 70 um ideally <laughs> it's just sad about everything like ideally this is what it's going to look like um but maybe not but maybe not and then we're going to do a uh band press out uh 3 by 15 and then we need another ab movement ab ab move okay great have you had your coffee yet i have not i haven't had coffee yet this is this last little schlep of protein shake is the only thing I've had. I thought you'd stop because of sleep. Yeah. Yee yee. I just uh, I took a little step back. It's okay to do that sometimes. I have to go refill. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry to do this right away. I'll be right back. Good morning, I RJ. What are you doing? Yeah, it's it's been a couple weeks for me too, Lou. All right, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> good morning, RJ. Bad, I'm trying to stay awake for delivery after working the whole night. I just want to go and sleep. Oh, shoot. I didn't know you were working nights. What kind of work are you doing now, RJ? If you don't mind my asking. And Lou, you worked at the gym, had a few opening shifts. You'd be up at 4 a.m. for that. Never say never, but I was not the most enthusiastic morning person. I hear that. Some people just handle it a lot better than others. You know? I don't know if it's genetic. I don't know if it's just like how your parents uh, treated you in the mornings. Like my mom was like a morning go-getter. And so like the morning has always been treated as a time where um, like you can get things done, where you get things out of the way for the day. And if you're awake and making noise, you're just awake and making noise. That's just how it's gotta be. Trying to get around, I was like, cool, it might be nice. See, you see, you're too kind. Now that we're all here, you have to pop one of those tops. <laughs> Not quite yet. Not quite yet, my dude. Oh, what up, bars? How we doing? How are we? Uh, Paul, I don't know if you're still here. I have not had coffee yet, but I'm about to have some pre-workout. Um, Y'all, please go check out Paul STO. Friend of the stream. Stars and bars. I spelled it right. Work in a bakery, dope production. So you get, so you, you you literally get up, and you get that bread. You say good morning, gamers. Let's get this bread. How many times do you make that joke every day? Please tell me it's a lot. I'm a morning person. You strike me as a morning person, Borgs. You're always up there in the mornings. 
heating up was never an issue. Like the alarm went off, I'd be up, shower, breakfast, don't bother. Sound of someone's voice at that time. No amount of caffeine would help. <laughs> you're just like, you're trying to, you're trying to smile through it for everyone. It's just hard. I tried to catch up to Celtic stream Monday night, but you ended as I got in. Ah, sorry to hear it. Sorry to hear it. That's oh, my pleasure in the show. <laughs> uh, well, it's good to have you here, Bars. I know that I have not been streaming on Wednesdays at a great time for many folks. Yeah, and so I was explaining to Borgs, I just I needed a little bit. Um, I needed a little bit of. Uh, not a, not a break, because I was still lifting on Wednesdays. It was just, uh, I need a little more sleep. I'm going to be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes it'd be. Man, as your official barista, you have coffee immediately. <laughs> dangerous to be under-caffeinated. It is dangerous to be under-caffeinated. Which is why I am indeed caffeine 18 which I'm going to, I need to do something real quick that I have been just like putting off for a minute. Um, and I'm taking my name. Um, we're going to do, 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 do. Whoop, 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 whoop. I wanted to add this bit of like semi shameless Semi, oh god, it's huge. Never mind. Back off, bub. Uh, we're on those Legion supplements, so I just wanted to, I just wanted to have like a little, a little thing up here in the top. And you know what? It kind of looks like garbage, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make it, we'll make it better one of these days. Wow, look at that. It's almost like you can't see it. 10 15 a.m. for me. Happy to see you on. <laughs> uh, perfect 11 18, almost lunch. Other UK guys might know the fear a bit more, but I would open Glasgow City Center Gym at 5 a.m. Uh, not the nicest of people out in between. The There's a four and five. Oh my god. <laughs> Joe, hello. It's probably almost time for your gym sesh, right? Across the Irish Sea from you. Ain't so many friendlies here that time either. All good if you're driving, though. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. I will not get up super early when I do eventually come to visit that, that, that part of the world. Tabs, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for saying hello. <sighs> Love how it's a thing for everyone's programming. They throw abs at the end of a training day with almost 0% chance of ever doing... Ooh, don't you... Don't, don't do it. Don't you manifest that on me, Lou. Don't you, <laughs> don't you do it. <laughs> I know I'm gonna do leg lifts. It's just the, it's, it's the other stuff. It's things after leg lifts. But yeah, no, I've done it so many times. I used to always work in my, um, my abs into uh, supersets. So I would always do like bench press, and um leg lifts or something similar and then i would do uh like bent rear raises and so i would have giant sets <laughs> that's my excuse just not training abs <sighs> public transport and walking just love to live dangerously Joe, what's uh, what's on the menu today? What day is it for you? You doing uh, arms and shoulders, things like that? A little bit of that upper body. How about lower body? Oh, oh yeah. Anchy worms, upper body day. Ooh Remember when I did upper body days? Ooh. The pump was real. The pump was not fictional. It was very real. Oh, 
Yeah, Baruni. Tomorrow is a big lower body day. Joe, do you ever do bench and, or uh, squat and deadlift in the same day? I have work to do. Won't be able to work out today, or at least this morning. I just have to cycle at night this week. Ah, oh, geez. I'm sorry, Tabs. Big, busy week. <laughs> For body butt. Tab would. Tra after training a muscle against the stuff, yeah, I'll do some decline setups. I realized how bored I get doing them. Started doing suitcase carries, overhead carries, and anti rotation stuff. Didn't hate it as much. Didn't love it, but at least I tried to do it. Yeah. Maybe that's what I'll do. Is those uh cable press outs with rotation prevention. I never thought of like how to describe them. I just saw them in a in a video once and tried them and they felt great. Basically just like pressing out from your chest with some uh, resistance. Oh, tabs. That's right. You had nasty PT yesterday. <laughs> nasty PT being the litmus test for the week. Oh, wow. My brain is just busted. It's okay to be in that space. It's okay to be in a brain busted space. Banded step outs, or I just call them anti rotation presses. We're gonna have a program that has two SBD days per week. Ooh. Two SBDs per week? I always do squat and deadlift in the same day. Joe, I didn't even see that. But you're a brave man. Oh. Maybe I should just start doing that, you know? Because I want to try to, at least once a week, deadlift twice per week. If you want to get good at it, you got to do it. A little bit of child's pose. Get those lats stretched out. We're going to start off with rows. So let's make sure upper body, back. Make sure that spine is ready to go. Currently, kind of doesn't feel ready to go. Wow, I feel such a huge difference on Wednesdays when I don't run on went on Tuesdays. What well, doesn't kill us and all that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Get caught up. Extension machine is not my friend. Uh, the maddest he had ever seen me. It sucks, Tabs. Roy Cat, Roy Cat. He's here, he's there, he's every fucking where. Roy Cat. One is program is volume strength, the other is technique work. Technique day is a real low percentage, so it should be manageable. So all my programs that I write that aren't bodybuilding focused has uh, two of the big four per day. Yeah. So when you say big four, squat, bench, deadlift, OHP, do you say OHP is your is your fourth? Is that the super serum from Captain America? I will not. Uh, no comment. No comment. Legion pre workout might be Captain America super serum. All right, there's your layer. 
OHP can be swapped for a BB row, which I think it kind of always will be for me. Maybe someday I'll work the courage up to um, to get back into doing overhead presses, but uh, you do it. You do it. You do those overhead presses if they feel right for you. I encourage you. I believe in you. Multi layers on today. That's right. That's right. Fourth in the big four, not hip thrust. I thought the fourth in the big floor in the big four was like those uh, upside down Spider Man things that people do on cable machines. You know what I'm talking about? Where they walk themselves up? If you're not doing that in your routine, on your gains. Thanks, Athlean X. How much snow is on the ground? It actually all melted, Borgs, thankfully. All of our snow is melted. If I could remove one lift from power lifting, power lifting comp, it would be bench. Change it for OHP. Really? That's uh, them fighting words. No, it's not. It's not. I hear you though. I really, I really do like bench. Since I've started to fix my form, I'm starting to like bench again. I was getting really sick of bench when I was plateauing. When is the big collab? Now that we know that you and Polar Hacker <laughs> are minutes apart. Oh uh, my gosh, that's so wild to me. You know what? Like the moment he said it, it made so much sense. It made so much sense. Just like the personality thing, you know? What? Who is that? Thank you for that sub. <laughs> ah. Oh, goes there. Eek, good morning. <laughs> just you. Yeah, BS, it's just you. Welcome back, Eek. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. How the heck are you? How's your day? Actually melted. That must be a first. Yeah, I mean, it melted within like 24 hours. Like, don't get me wrong. I was upset about the snow, but I was less upset knowing that it would be gone very soon. <laughs> Gotta get a morning jog over to the Holder Dojo. I am curious, like, what part of town he lives in. Very curious what part of town he lives in. And I hope I can, like, ask him without making him feel uncomfortable. But, I mean, he named it, so... Falls in his court. <laughs> My spine. Wake up, spine. Come on. Do your job. All right. Get these noodles feeling a little more shaboodle. That's lifter talk for a uh, move. It's a small world after all. It is, Borgs. I always wonder, like... You know, you, you have to be, like, sort of, like, to an extent, like, a little bit standoffish with folks um, when, like, someone that you're not already familiar with in the community comes in and is like, hey, wait, you live here? It's like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Please back up a little bit. Do you train in any martial art, too? I did wrestling in high school, and I considered, like, I don't know, from time to time, I'll, like, goof around and try to like re, re up on some of that stuff. Um, I've done boxing for training, like cardio training, but never got into it. Gotta get started recording. Sending love everyone. Tabs, have a good day. Let me give Tabs a. Geek, I already started doing this, so uh, that's 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 that's. 
<laughs> Hi and bye. Um, I forgot to do that when Tabs came in, so. <laughs> Godspeed. Judging by the size of the dungeon, you and your family can move in with him. Yeah. Yeah. It, like a gaming house for energy, but instead it's the fitness and health house. Uh, he does seem like he has a big, a big old house. <laughs> So which I, I have like I have thoughts about where it is that he lives, but obviously I'm not gonna Box Jake Paul, you can take him. I don't want no RJ. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> he took my germ. I don't even want the locals to know exactly which house they live in. Had too many followed home incidents in the past, and I'm not inviting that shiz. Yeah. And, and you know, that's like my wife worries about that stuff. Like my mom is super worried about that stuff. You'll see her get in chat every once in a while. And then she'll like text me afterwards and be like, are you being careful? And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop asking that question. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I, I want to get together and do something with him sometime. If, if only just a lift, um, you know, invite, uh, invite him over for some drinks. You have a great mom. She's, she's pretty cool. I've seen too many slot vids. Slot vids are like on a whole nother level. Forgot about my deadlift jack. Like at one point, like you know the meme slash joke of like, uh, quote, call the cops. I don't give a fuck. I said that on stream once, and then I was like, hmm, actually, please don't. I'd rather we not go through that. Ugh. Have we named the deadlift jack yet? This, this is a genuine question. Because we just brought this boy home a couple of weeks ago. Former Dr. Streamer's house being shot at? Oh my god. I haven't even told 99% of people I stream live in a city similar to Sweet Lou. They don't need to know the equipment I have. As in friends and family. Ah, yes. Yeah. See what she worries. First time followed home was at 12 years old. I'm overly worrisome when people I love her out. Do the same when Paul goes out. I guess no, that's real. That's so real. That's valid. That felt easy. Let's see, if I do 15 and then 20, fifteen and then twenty. Let's see about it. And stream at some point, move down to Glasgow from a much smaller area, instantly be found if I did it there. Yeah. <laughs> Getting advanced with a deadlift jack, perhaps lifty, or just plain jack. Lifty sounds good, that's got like cuphead energy. I'm thinking like, lifty also makes me think of like, uh, like that old dude sitting in the back of the saloon that's like seen some shit, like from Jaws. You can do it from the gym. Uh, still does games and games too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people stream straight from a straight from a gym. To me, that takes some bravery. That takes some social bravery. Let's get lifting. Yeah, get lifting. Long time to me. Uh, sorry, I was uh 
Hot prepping and too tired for social. Oh, no worries, geek. No worries. I figured I figured you were busy with stuff. I uh and maybe this is like you know maybe uh maybe this is not great, but I tend to assume that when folks aren't around it's because they got stuff going on, not because they don't want to be here anymore. Um <laughs> And I, I, I just said, uh, like, I throw that out generally, right? Um, also, like, this was very much like a time slot that worked for you to stop in previously. And I stopped doing it. thought about that, too, but I trained an independent gym that one search and it wouldn't be hard to know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, what I have... What I have kind of like accepted is that if someone like really, really, really wanted to find out like general like area that I was in, they could do it. They could probably do it. Um, and like that risk is just like always kind of there. But, uh, you know, you do your best to, to maintain your privacy. I don't have any reservations about streaming in a gym other than permissions from the owners. Commercial gyms, I don't give a fuck. More tripods and dumbbells at this point. There, you know, I have not been in a commercial gym in a while, but yeah. I was asleep or eating for a lot of the streams last week. They were all just like, man, work has been so busy. Work has been crushing me lately. Uh, trust you have to consider. I promise you, if someone from my area comes in my stream, if my face doesn't tell them... Who I am, my back garden will. What's behind it? <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Geek. Uh, so one of the things I'm gonna do this summer, I am gonna do some uh, some driveway workouts. I'm gonna get out into ye old driveway. I have to make sure I set up the camera in a way that like it doesn't totally reveal where my home is. So did a podcast with some friends for a year. My friend introduced me as the hardest man in my... Really? <laughs> well, I won't ask about the podcast because then I would know where you live. Not worried about people finding out I stream. More worried about the trolls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because people just, like, they just do that shit for no reason. No reason. Sorry to hear about the crushing work. Similar situation here. Got this plus an awesome break soon. I don't clip very fast. Borg, are you on mobile? Because if you're on mobile, clipping takes forever. Forever. I feel like I'm always like behind the behind the eight ball on, on clipping. Done game streams and that in the past. It's more about safety concerns. For sure. For sure. Um, yeah. So I, I work at a pretty large organization. And I think at least a thousand of the 50,000 people... Um, and a lot of like close connections know that I'm doing this and I have accepted. Oh, I'm sitting at, okay, well then, uh, I'm sorry that geek, geek just, geek just got there faster. It's, it's all good. That, that clip team Supreme. That's right. Someone's getting that clip. Get lifting. Okay. So this is, uh, the deadlift Jack is now get lifty. That's the Irish mentality. <laughs> we like the hardest <laughs> oh no oh <laughs> it's those closest to you We just need to put 15 more pounds on here, and we're in business. Just 50 more pounds, that's fine. No. Hey, let's see. 
Do I have to sing a song every time I need it? Because that may that may extend the length of the streets. This isn't automatically an issue, but uh, streets have gotten longer. <laughs> Almost the highest form. <laughs> it's Ari in his costumes. Oh my God. <laughs> my goodness. Acro has been just like crushing it lately. My dude is like, <laughs> I don't know. He's just so huge and so strong and so kind. I love to see it. I love to see, love to see a kind person succeed. That feels good. It feels just. Okay, we're uh, we're almost into working sets. Uh, Forty minutes later, so here we go. Really, we started working out twenty minutes ago. But but you know, you know. Wish I would stream earlier. I catch like the first thirty minutes, and then it's uh, well thirty. I'm like shit. I need sleep. Yeah, yeah. He does. He does usually stream in the evenings. I try to get to it, like, my ideal stream time is sometime between, like, 11 a.m. and, uh, like, starting between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. If I can start then, I feel good, I get pre-workout, and I don't, like, it doesn't mess up my sleep. Um, and usually, like, working from home, I can do that. My boss is cool with it. That's the other thing about people knowing that I'm streaming. My boss knows. I still wonder if she tunes in. I don't think she does. I think she's like made the decision of like, nope, not gonna, not gonna do that. Not gonna go there. <laughs> Thankfully. Miss too sweet. Only catch a seat. Only catch a Saturday or Sunday one. Yeah. Yeah. It's chill though. That's what VODs are for. Which reminds me, I need to clean up my VODs. Dr. K Ross, good morning. Good morning, K. We got a Cosmic Hearts, we got a Cosmic Hearts sweetheart in the chat. How are you doing, Dr. K? Can I get a shout for Dr. K Ross when you get a moment? How you been? That, uh, that stream with Arthemis was so good. I, I had a super busy day at work and so I had to lurk on it for the most part, but that was so cool. What a fun surprise that was. Just imagine your boss emails for work and you're like, yep, finish the report. It just sees it live and appears in chat. It's that report. <laughs> No, she's a she's she's a pretty direct communicator, honestly. My laptop is doing that thing that it did yesterday. Do very well, thank you. Taking a week off work, writing music for the first time in years. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh I am like Can, can I ask about the music you're writing and like instrument and, and all those deets? Uh but it, it's going well. It's very early. And Fox is here too. Oh my god. <laughs> we got so many cosmic hearts. And the chats. And good morning, Callie. <laughs> I love that. That's the perfect working gift. Yeah. Okay. Do we got this? I think we got this. I ate my peanut butter and jelly last night. Cool. Laptop is doing the big spinny spinny. Are, is, are the fans super loud for y'all? Are they coming through super loud? <laughs> Sorry, on Outer Worlds last night. Is that your first time playing it? It is. It is, Lou. Can't hear the fans. Good. Good, good, good. Stinking Alienware laptop. I don't want to complain. 
But yeah, Lou, it's my it's my first time playing, and I'm having a blast. Terrified. A big, terrified blast. Thank you for the shout. Very amateur when it comes to music. It's a nice hobby. Writing lyrics at the moment. Pondering guitar and bass parts. I think you're going to be an acoustic one. It's going to be a thank you message to some friends. That's so wonderful. What a wonderful reason to write music. To say, thank you. Oh, yeah, it's Outer Wilds. It's early. It's early. I goofed. Yeah, it is easy to mix them up. Yes. So, um, Outer, Outer Wilds is the um, uh, cosmic space mystery that ends up being horrific. Uh, Outer Worlds is the uh, beautifully, beautifully written anti-space capitalist manifesto by Obsidian. <laughs> but yeah, I've been loving Outer Wilds. Um, I was like, you you play that game and like you get done with a session, and you you just can't stop thinking about it. Like, stop me if you don't want to hear me wax about Outer Wilds, but like. I just, I feel like if you, I am, I'm slowly kind of building up this internal list of like games that I feel, you know, <laughs> me and my opinions, right? Games that I feel that if you like video games generally, like if you like video games and like you want to understand the culture of video games, like the games that you should play, right? Right now, A Link to the Past and Outer Wilds. Like, those are the two games on my list that are, like, like broadly, many folks should, should at least give them a try, right? Always time to hear people get excited about things they love. Thank you, Geek. Yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful game, and it teaches you a lot about, like, what a game can be, I guess. You'll hear me say that. Uh, many times. And like, obviously, not all games are for all people. And sometimes you're going to look at something and go like, that's not for me. But two games I, I would consider. If you haven't played A Link to the Past yet, you can find it on the Switch Online deal or you can find an emulator for it. Huh. But uh, but Dr. K, that's so cool that you're writing some music to say thank you for some friends. Say thank you to some friends. Um, I played a bit of guitar and bass in my day, and uh, wrote some. I wrote some pop songs. I would. I don't know if you call them pop songs. They certainly uh, would not be qualified as ballads, but maybe I should just call them ballads. <laughs> Four chord songs. Let me think about this. One of them was a four chord song. That's a reference to a joke, not meant to be insulting. No, no, no. Like, I, yeah, the, I, I'm familiar with the joke. And I think, like, one of them, admittedly, like, the one that most people liked most, was a four chord song. Because it was, it was back in high school, so we did a couple of shows. Um... And uh, the four chord song was the one that a lot of people laughed back to. <laughs> Feels heavier when I don't use the particular arrangement of weights. I'm going to see how long I can go without restarting my PC, but I'm a little afraid.
Not afraid. I just, uh, I had to do this on Monday. So it's flipping out. What's the matter with it? Um, like, y'all can't hear the fans just going crazy. But, uh, that's been, that's been happening. Like, almost like it's doing an update is what it sounds like right now. Actually, I'm not going to get too, uh, maybe it just needs a clean as possible. I can hit it with some duster. Like internal clean, yeah. I mean, I've had it for, how long have I had this thing for? Since like January, December, January. Yeah, <laughs> you could probably use a clean. Cause like, I definitely, yeah. She might be, she might be a little plugged up, but that's okay. We'll get it fixed. Better to watch the YouTube before chords. Yes. Yeah. That's a that's a good bit. That's a good bit. I remember when that one came out. Well, here's the joke. Hope morning's going well. Tiger. 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 Tiger, looking like a damn snack. Can I take a bite? You are entitled to a nibble, my friend. I hope you're having a great morning. We're doing some rows. We're two sets in to five sets of rows. Just kind of ridiculous considering I've been live for 52 minutes, but it's really not that bad. Just, I just took the appropriate amount of time with my warm up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Older I get, I'm only 29. The older I get, the more I realize. The more time in the warm up, save you so much trouble later. You'll perform better, you'll feel better. Hot dog. Hot dog. Ooh. Well, how are you doing, Tiger? How's your morning? Any car alarms going off? Music playing in the bright, the bright wee hours of the morning. I'm like, I'm really curious now. I almost want to lift this thing up and look underneath it, but no one wants to hear about, uh, no one wants to hear about my laptop problems. I can almost guarantee that. I can almost guarantee that. All right, next set of rows. Keep it running. Oh, push-ups. Yeah, now we're, we're going to start warming up for incline bench. <laughs> Deadlifts. No, ruler. Good morning. Good morning. We're just doing rows. They look like deadlifts. <laughs> from that from that moment there. Rick at CBT. Hello. Wanted to know if I delayed my breakfast. For like two to three hours in the morning. Still eat enough calories protein throughout the day. What difference does it make? Heard it's not optimal for muscle growth. So, Rick, what I'll say, a couple of things there. Like 
it sounds like you're sort of bringing in either intermittent fasting or time restricted eating, which can have like benefits for like overall well being in the long run. If you stay on restricted, if you stay on a restricted eating timetable, there's been some research supporting metabolism and fat loss and um, like like cell regeneration. Like that's that's the big thing that they found with intermittent fasting. But if you are purely trying to gain muscle, I would say that you should just eat breakfast when you when you get up, because uh, like the whole point is to like recover like in the in the off time. So if you're like having a three hour session where you're you're just hungry, um, then that's, that's probably not gonna feel good. Half sleep was kind of modding for another stream and I saw you with my one good eye that it still isn't half closed that you were live. Well, welcome in, Tiger. <laughs> I've done IF for a while while trying to cut body fat, but at the moment just trying to gain muscle. And those two to three hours are not hungry at all. Well, I mean, here's the thing is like, I, I eat like, I eat from like 7 a.m. to like 9.30 p.m. Like I do not do any sort of intermittent fasting at all uh, while I'm bulking um, and I wake up hungry. So, ooh, excuse me, cell regeneration is a big one, which is weird, right? Like. <laughs> it was it's that's so strange like i still I'm, I'm i i know they explain the science of like what could potentially be behind it but it's just so wild to me usually eat like 900 calories 70 grams protein meal maker cork with lots of casein yeah i mean my my feeling is that if you hmm. <laughs> oh you eat before going to bed okay yeah, it's it's really hard to say, Rick. Like, um, my feeling is that you should, if you if you are solely trying to like gain weight and build muscle, uh, have your body fueled throughout the time you're awake. Right. That means eating in the morning. That means eating, uh, <laughs> like eating every couple of hours and making sure you're satiated and that you're getting enough protein. It sounds like you're you're on with your macros, which is the is is a good thing. But yeah. The other thing I would say is like, and I know this is not helpful at all. If you if you feel good in those two to three hours and you're still making progress, like, don't push it, right? If things are going the way they should be, then keep going. Don't eat in those two to three hours. But if you're plateauing or if you're starting to feel like a little bit weaker in the mornings or, you know, your workouts aren't going the way that you want them to go, have that meal. Have that meal. See how you feel. Try it for two weeks. And in that time, you should see an actual change. Will I also look shredded and jacked if I get a Gymshark tank? I'm only going to answer that question if Gymshark Gym, Gym starts if Gym Shark, if Gym Shark starts giving me money to answer it. That's that's a joke. Um, I think you would, Joe. I think you would. I think you'd look phenomenal in one of these. I think more people would look good in stringers than they realize. I thought I could never rock one, and then I bought one and put it on. And people were like, you look good. It's like, okay, okay. Get the confidence going. But Rick, I hope that's helpful in some way. Um, that's just my feeling, is like, you got a lot of time, like, throughout your life to, to gain weight, to figure things out. So why not just experiment with stuff? Try something for two weeks, see if it works out for you. I'll give code nerd lifts a try. <laughs> Not a stringer kind of person. I do that. To be at least 15% before I get one. So I'll never get one. Oh no. See, that's what I thought. I thought that I was like, 
I didn't deserve to wear one until I was a certain size. And yeah, it felt a little goofy, like the first day I put it on, but I just felt so much more confident, you know? It's like, if you're getting ready for a job interview, if you don't have a suit, you're gonna find a suit. Or like some nice clothes, right? Collared shirt. Unless you're doing some like Silicon Valley interview and you're supposed to show up in sweatpants. That's not a kids of today joke. I think that's actually a thing. Back after a work call. How goes the lifty? Lifty is so darn good. Welcome back, geek. This look like Job of the Hut and Rag if I wore a stringer. Joe, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Hitting your elbow on the door handle. Just mean. <laughs> uh-huh. I like tank tops. <laughs> Ruler, how you been? Just j yeah. <laughs> Darts only. Do you want me to throw some darts? Because I will. I'll throw some darts for you. One of the reasons I work in the games industry is so I never have to wear formal clothes. <laughs> Best forever. Yes. Yes. I got, um, I got my, uh, I bought my first vest a couple of years ago, like a, like a, like a down vest. And I wear it around the house all the time in the winter. It's so nice. All right. You let me know, judge. <laughs> don't want, oh, you don't want to feel bad about your darts. I am shit at darts judge. I've got this, like this was here when we moved into the house. So like I can, I think I've probably thrown darts like eight or nine times in the last year. <laughs> but good morning. Okay, I need a quick bio break. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna run an ad and I will be back shortly. I'll see you in a second.
Welcome back, everyone. Sorry about that. Sorry about that little break there in that ad. It's been good. Been trying to track calories the last two weeks. Fall off the wagon since yesterday. I'm trying to cut. All right. Well, you can get right back on it. You got this ruler. I believe in you. I mean, look at you and say it. I believe in you. You got it. And you know what? If you got to change the way that you do it, like the, the routine around it, like when you're entering stuff in versus when you're eating, make some changes. Run an experiment. Shot a video for TikTok of my own design off uh, post pump. All I can say is it felt and looked juicy. Cut your shirts, Jim. Go <laughs> Yes. Yes. Oh, Nicolash001. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Feel free to say hello so that we know you are a human. Uh, I also cut the neck off most of my t-shirts because I don't like things near my throat and it feels so much better. Oh my gosh, yes. If a crew neck is like too tight up here, I really struggle. I really struggle with that. I don't know if those last ones were any good. Let's do a little clip clip. Poor sleeveless be a disservice to other people at the gym. Hey, you know what, Joe? Where the where the clothes that make you comfortable? Sorry. I want to back up and say, like, me saying that I think you could pull it off if you wanted to doesn't mean like I'm shaming you for not wanting to do it. <laughs> Thank you for permitting the terms nipple and titty. <laughs> Go thrifting, find some shirts, cut the fuck out of them how you like. Yes. <laughs> uh, read the titty. Not to nip knops. Not to. Not to. Not to nip knops. Not to. Not to nips. Easier. Okay. Well, hey, we finished Rose. We finished Rose uh, with an AMRAP of, I'm going to say six. I did seven reps, but I think only six of them were clear. Are you asking for a clipping? No. <laughs> you, uh, you can't see the nips because of the captions. Oh, no. What a shame. Is this song a cover of Volbeat or did Volbeat cover it? I think Volbeat covered it. Young the Giant is definitely the OG. Because that's how you get a clip. Are you asking for a clipping, young man? Rug. Rug. Get lifting. Oh, yeah. Welcome, Rug. Good merry morning to you. Rug of Sickles, Master of Pickles. Wonder, um, did a, uh, did anyone ever do like a parody of Metallica's Master of Puppets, but Master of Pickles? Master of Pickles, Garlicky Figs.
Bro, I swear, every time I'm trying to move this thing around my basement, I feel like Star Wars kid. You know, put out a light. Good morning. Oh, I got push ups. Sorry, Willard. Delete at your whim. I will think about it. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. Hmm. Poll's been canceled tonight, so I'm glad I have my own. Yay! Oh, I'm not 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 yay that it's canceled, but glad you got your own. Welcome in, Rod. How's your morning? The blue is gone. We have completed the blue. Okay, so we're gonna do an incline bench with an easy curl, and we're gonna see if I can maybe do an RDL mixed in there. It is entirely dependent on whether I can do RDLs with my easy bar. I've been so busy, especially after the long weekend. Look in interviews. Oh no. Oh no. Why can't I close this? Am I some kind of idiot? Yeah. Wait, like applicant interviews at the poll place, or like that's what you got uh got at work? Oh, 22 interviews. Okay, yeah, that's what I, that's what I figured. 22 interviews. Jeez, oh, Pete. That's a lot. No, thank you. How often do you train arms? Isolation. So right now, I am hitting biceps uh, three times a week and hitting triceps twice a week um, in my rotation. So that's uh that's oh I gotta get this warm up set in. Timing, timing, timing. What like is? Fine. One warm up set, man. Go on in. Lift all the thighs. Oh, easy bar. Let's get it set up. Oh, it's going to be so goofy. Look at that ridiculous thing. Three and two. Yeah, and sometimes I only hit biceps twice a week, but typically it's been like mixing them into other days, not doing them 
two days in a row. All that stuff. Many butts. So many butts. Butts galore. I feel delirious today. Someone on the, on, on the trek has broken there. No! What did they do? Were they overtraining? Did they have a little fall? Oh, that's so sad. How much, how much time, like, how far out is it? They were training and they slipped. Oh. Are they going to send a, a substitute or something? The boots are old and worn, so props. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's so sad. Jeez. At the moment, I'm doing no arm isolation work. I feel the compounds hit arms anyway. Focusing on having enough recovery due to trying to eat less. I think an arms jeopardize that. So many choices. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, if anything, ruler, like, work in low, like, medium volume and lower weight arm workouts. Because I really do think, like, if you're trying to work in your compounds, that uh, getting some tricep work in is important. Um, bicep work can be important, too, especially if you're doing deadlifts. Because you want to make sure that that uh, <laughs> those tendons running from your grip all the way up to your shoulders, like you wanna make sure that that uh, kinetic chain is strong, right? So even if you're not doing like bodybuilder arm sets, making sure that you're getting some mobility in is gonna help prevent injury, especially if you're, you know, do it with good form, right? Not till November, so fingers crossed they can rehabilitate it. I think that's, you yeah, might have enough time. They might have enough time. Dola. What's up, buddy? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. May I have a shout for for Do of La? When y'all get a chance. Tiger or Geek, whoever is available. Um, okay, let's get this next warm-up set in. Yeah, really, I hope it's helpful. Um, uh, again, like, it, you know, like, you don't have to do those things. I found that my training is... Uh, just more, I don't know, more, more varied, more exciting when I work in some arm work. But that's just me. Like, if your current uh, energy level is matching your output level, and you don't want to change anything, then don't. Okay. 175. So 135 plus 40. Oh, That's a little better. All right, let's see if I can already yell. Might keep that left or that right foot back. Ah. 
Just goofy. Stop it. Thank you, Geek. Very true on biceps. Current program keeps the heavy compound sets. And I love cable overhead tricep work. Yep. Yeah, just got a little bit of everything. I feel like it's very early for you. Eno, yes. Yes, it is 6.23. We started at 5. How are you doing this morning? Good to see you. Working while planning next week's holiday. Yeah, I don't know how, uh, how openly I can ask questions about it. I want to, like, ask about what you got planned, but I will, I will put that ball in your court. Because, like, I know. I don't know how much you want it in this space. So, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Good Lord, why? I got a really long day at work, and I'm grabbing, uh, I'm grabbing a bevy with one of my coworkers after work, so... Holidays. All right, dude. Still resting at the moment, though. Trying to avoid that long COVID. Ooh. Oh, yes. Please rest. Please rest. But yeah. So we're uh, we're doing uh. Did you look into your Scottish heritage at all? So I did, and uh, I'm still piecing through what the data means, because I got a 23 in me assessment that seems to read differently than what my mother had indicated in our discussion. So I need to I need to make sure I fully understand that before I talk about it too much. Gronk runnings. That's right. Budapest. Gosh, that's so cool. Are you gonna go visit Wes Anderson at his hotel? That's where he lives, right? Critically acclaimed director Wes Anderson lives in a hotel in Budapest. Is that correct? And that's how you go see him. You go to Budapest and uh, then you uh, you make a phone call, but you film the phone call. And the scene where you film the phone call involves the entire process of walking to the phone, picking up the phone, uh, dialing all of the mysterious digits, and then waiting for it to ring four times. But then you like hang up really quick because you get nervous and then you pick it up and do the same process again. And that's how you contact Wes Anderson. He's our friend, free room, love it, love it. I'm gonna try to light some, some light full body stuff later though. Hypermobile, so not working out as bad for the joints. Word, yeah, gotta stay moving, gotta stay moving. Three day week this week and three day week next. I love it, I love it. Wearing lots of the same color in a beret. <laughs> I did watch, what is the, uh, gosh, what's the Wes Anderson film um, about the school? It's about the, the, the boarding school. I saw that for the first time last year. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Jay loves Wes Anderson. I've got some friends who are really big into Wes Anderson films. One in particular is like a huge fan. Rushmore, that's it. That's the one the one <laughs> that was really good that was really good i enjoyed that a lot more than i thought i would hope the best wish the best for it. i know how hard it can be tracing family trees especially when you get conflicting no 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 yeah no it didn't come across as rude at all like i am like genuinely embarrassed that i didn't know um and i know some people go a long time without knowing uh and that's 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 like totally fine but uh I don't know. I feel like it just gets it's slung. It gets slung around a lot in uh, in my family, and I want to know the actual deets. What was his uh, What was his latest movie? But Lou, I really appreciate you asking about it, because um, especially like if I'm eventually at some point in the next uh, in the next year going to be visiting a place like Scotland, I want to know if I have connections to it, like actual connections. Uh, if not to talk, like not necessarily to talk about it with people, but just for like my own knowledge and understanding of like oh. This place has meaning.
Weird. Couldn't find the tartan from your clan, so yeah. See, my mom gave me one and said that it is our clan tartan. So out. Ooh. Say when it comes to Scottish heritage, there are so many clans. Wars of few tried to unite under one name. Never went over well. Even the history is very spotty. I think I have Scottish heritage, but not enough to look into. Rocks, hello! <laughs> 20... 20 times great grandfather was Robert the Bruce. <laughs> that's that's a good that's a good ass joke right there. <laughs> Apparently have a tartan. More Maltese heritage, but it's difficult to find out. I don't even have the name of my granddad who is Maltese. I am starting. Not a joke. Rox, are you serious? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to come at you like that. So let me back up. I assume that was a joke because like Sweet Lou was talking about how like <laughs> if a few thousand people die, I legit have a claim to a Scottish throne should a monarchy be installed. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Like I did not mean to be uh to, to minimize rocks, and I hope it didn't cause harm when I, I did that. Um I just realized my math has been wrong this whole time, so pardon me while I fix things. We were talking about potentially taking, like, I'm, I'm potentially taking a trip to Scotland, right? And I was trying to, like, figure out what my actual heritage was. Um, and Lou mentioned, like, Americans will come to Scotland and start to, like, talk about like very very distant family connections but i guess like if you're on the continent like it's a little bit different so that's my bad friend i hope you'd let me know if that actually did hurt your feels i can pull up the tartan that my mom uh gave to me if y'all want to see it i'm not sure how well you'd be able to see it in this light but literally mm -hmm. sitting on the table upstairs because we've been doing cleaning this week. <sighs> so like I looked at the 23 in me and what it told me is that there is some connection for me in in the UK but like not really not enough for me to feel confident about it. Ayrshire is one you where you'd want to look for family heritage if Kennedy was the name. Looked into my heritage and tracked it, tracked that line a good way back. I'm descended from an illegitimate son of James II of Scotland, who was like the third great grandson of Robert the Bruce. That's excellent, Rox. That's so cool. That's so rad. Yeah, again, I'm sorry for for coming off at all like in disbelief. I was just coming off that, uh, coming off of that discussion. <sighs> Jay, hi, hello, welcome. 
trying to get permanent bicep veins. They will come. Keep pumping the iron. If you keep pumping, the pump will come. But thank you. How you doing this morning? How are them goals coming? Okay, it is 6.30. We are well, we are well, we are, we are well into this thing. We're making progress. Got another set of, uh, another set of incline bench coming up here. We've done one working set so far. We have three more. Oh, gosh, what's everyone got planned for the rest of this week? We're talking lineages. Have you taken one of those swab tests? Someone in my family did, Jay High. Um, and so, like, I have... I have my uncle's test results. So I have like roughly half of the picture. And that's from like my mom's side of the family. So my dad's side is 100% Dutch. Like no, uh, no, <laughs> no blends, no proprietary blends on my dad's side of the family. They are 100% Dutch. The guy I work with is descended from Edward Longshanks. We have a feud <laughs> going. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go get it for you, Lou, so you can take a look at it. Heritage is big in the USA, right? Um, I feel like the UK isn't that fussed about it. Um, yeah, you know, it's like, so let, me, let me do this set and, no. Yeah, I'm gonna do this set and then I'll, I'll, I'll talk about how I kind of feel about it. Um, it's, it's complicated, right? I'm going to be right back. All right, as you said, predominantly green with blue, yellow, and red patterns. That's it. That's it right there. You called it, Lou. You found it. Lots of running to do. Then slacking. <laughs> oh, Dolaf, you got it. Get out there and get it done, buddy. You got this. What am I doing the DNA thing? Be interesting, though. Family that's really into genealogy, and according to that, are mostly French, Old Germanic, and Scottish. No idea about the people, though. Apart from one of my great granddads, we already knew about him. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, in the U.S., it's, it's kind of strange, right? Like, unless you have a very 
So let me start off. Um, if you're a white person in the U.S., chances are you have some interest in your genealogy and family heritage. Because, because of the way history has gone for people of color in this country, their history tends to be a little more clear looking back, right? And that's speaking to someone else's human experience, so I don't want to say too much on that. But yeah, like white folks in the U.S., like either uh, you have a family that immigrated here during like Ellis Island and like late period uh like industrial revolution times or um you know a, a lot of folks like are linked back to early colonists uh, and so just people, people don't know which i think has like sparked an interest in figuring out like where exactly did your heritage come from like for me like my great grandmother uh i'm pretty sure it's my great grandmother immigrated to the u.s but i don't know the full story of it like Henry Hudson, allegedly, uh, we are related to distantly, but like, have my clan crest tattooed on my chest, including the motto, all pax, all bellum. Is that peace and beauty? For, for peace and beauty? I took a guess. Either peace or war. Okay, got it. <laughs> Either peace or war. That's beautiful. I think we're also in a position of privilege that the birth family records were kept preserved more meticulously back then. Yeah. Yeah. That is the that is the other part. It's like if you were part of the African diaspora, like you just there's there's no way to know because you were like your ancestors were swept away from their people with no like record keeping system aside from like a name that someone gave you in a book it's messed up Volvo runner three good morning hello welcome to the run club thank you for the follow tom hello 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 but yeah no i'm, I'm excited to learn more i'm excited to learn more and, and engage in it a bit more um Again, I just I want to know I want to know what I'm talking about. So I feel like that's the quickest way to end up with egg on your face is like only loosely knowing what's going on with your heritage, and then like talking about it at length, right? Which is roughly what I'm doing right now. Hang on a second. Hey, girl. Hey, who's that? Chef, good morning. Vereskit Vulner Virtus. Mm. I'm trying to guess that translation. I'm struggling. So good morning, Chef. Nice. Curls. Get your curls. Right, 
back to the early lifties for today and potentially for next week. We will see. We will see what happens next week, but <laughs> another half of my heritage comes from Vikings. Rides on the island I'm from, slaughtered everyone and took over. And my entire genetic makeup is designed to be a stocky and strong, flat footed storm beach type. <laughs> Courage grows strong at a wound. Is that the... That's beautiful. Damn. Damn. That's really neat. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so... Okay. This one I don't... This one I don't know for sure. What my dad told me about my Dutch heritage was that um, we are descended from a prince who uh, a prince who eloped with the daughter of a king from a neighboring um, from a, a neighboring kingdom, like within. With, within Dutch lands or within the, within the Netherlands uh, and it was that like elopement to uh, another part of Europe that like started our genealogy Gaelic is kind of dying here but Scots is coming back technically I have two languages I can speak Scots to a degree never considered it as an other language so now I'm saying I'm bilingual go for it go for it um, wifey is uh, she's actually been taking Gaelic on Duolingo to get uh, prepared for this trip. She's doing pretty well. She's doing pretty well. Like, we've been watching some uh, some vids to get stoked. And uh, <laughs> her, uh, thank you. Thank you, Callie. I think uh, sound alerts still aren't working, but um, I heard it, and that's what matters. Callie, how was your morning? How are you doing this Wednesday? Oh, uh, yeah, she's been learning some Gaelic. And, uh, I think she's is that Gaelic or Scots? <laughs> I've never seen that phrase as other than English. Nawa umna. Nawa umna. I can't do it. That's Scots. Okay. <laughs> Rather enjoying the distraction from work. I'm glad it could provide. I'm glad I could provide Pally. Does this look better over here? I don't know. I don't know where to put this thing. I don't know where it's it's just gonna stay up here. That's fine. It'll hang out with the cow. It'll hang out with the cow, and that's just gonna be okay. Na a unne. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'm just fried. I can't. I can't do it. Um, <laughs> we are all done with uh with easy curls and RDLs, and we just have one more set of incline bench to go. And I'm gonna am wrap it because I'm on a bolt and I have the extra energy. Maybe I won't actually be able to get more than eight. I might have actually programmed correctly. I love when people prepare like that and taking the culture and not just taking selfies at the local Starbucks. <laughs> now, I'm really, I'm really interested in, um, you know, I've been sucking in a lot of history, trying to understand, like, the, because I, I didn't take, like, specifically a European history class um, when I was coming up. So, like, I'm trying to understand the, the history of monarchies and revolutions. Uh, I'm trying to understand a little more about folklore. Um, like, I, I want that context. Really work on Gaelic. It almost feels insulting. Come here, you prefer Costa over Starbucks. I really... Oh, that's the other thing. That's the other thing. Is it going to be hard to get coffee? <laughs> I figure not, right? Like, I figure... I figure, like... I, like I'm, I'll, I'll, hap I'll happily drink tea the whole time. I'm quite fine with that. Oh.
Not that I'm anywhere near just like I'll only drink coffee. But I drink tea all the time. count. I lost count. My bad. A lot of Scott's history is fighting the English. That's what I'm finding. That's what I'm finding and learning. Three chains here. Starbucks, Costa, and Cafe Nero, and all the independent stores. Gonna head to the shop. Have a good Saturday or stream slash day if I don't get back before you're done. You know, have a good one, friendo. Be wool. What up, Joe? How we doing? I see you're still talking to me after seeing my impression of you, which is great. That's great news. Glad we're still on speaking terms. <laughs> Please go check out Joe. Go check out my man, Be wool. He's big and strong. <laughs> <laughs> the English suck. I'm English. Where our neighbors constantly wanted to take our shit. That seems to be the uh, <laughs> prevailing feeling. <laughs> also another good looking dude, yes. Just waking up and I loved your impression. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. What do you got going today, B Wolf? Are you uh, are you lifting today? Or is today an off day for you? Okay. Since I lost count on that AMRAP, it's not an AMRAP, it's just eight. But hey, we have done what we plan to do. So we got weighted pull-ups, hamstring bridges, and dumbbell hammer curls. <laughs> I wish I had seen it with the music. I mean, you got the idea. <laughs> I'm also English, and we wanted to take everyone's shit in fairness. And you know what? I'm American. Americans want to take everyone's shit, but then, like, pretend that they don't want to take everyone's shit, you know? That's the deal. Wednesdays are off days. Word. Word. Why? I hope you... Be, can, I, can I ask what kind of work you do? I don't, I don't know that I've ever asked what, about your day job. One of the few who managed to repel the rules. <laughs> I'm just saying. I need, to vi I need to visit Hadrian's Wall. Gotta liberate that oil. Paul, you know, I actually did see... Just yesterday, a really uh, interesting article about loaded language. And how the U.S. continues to use language about other nations that is like, like calling everyone else imperialist, while like we absolutely still have colonial territories that don't have full independent rights over themselves. This is not a woke or broke moment, it's just like, whew. Yeah, what's wrong, huh? Well. <laughs> Looking at some of the Roman accounts in the Scotland, they were terrified of us. I love it. I'm Hungarian. <laughs> <Fuck the Romans. laughs> 
Homeboy oh, said, Chevron won the lottery. She's rebuilding the wall just before that orange button. I, buffoon, I am referring. Yeah, yeah. Have you been to the British Museum? It's a stunning collection of people's shit. <laughs> no, not matching. We don't have to do that. We don't have to. Oh. Multiple straight up refusals to give everything back, which is bananas to me, right? Like, you know, it's wrong. You know it's wrong, and you do it anyway. I'm gonna do a little warm-up set here. I don't know that I'll be able to do as much as I think I can. But that's I might turn this giant set into a circuit. Just so I can work some abs in, in the middle. Good. Setup takes uh, 10 minutes. <sighs> Love to see the world today if Rome survives. I feel like many of us just like wouldn't, right? Walls equals <laughs> 800 years and counting. Christmas birthday, I can't remember. She treated herself to a replica of Robert the Bruce's sword. So don't mess with Mama Sweet Lou. <laughs> Mama the Bruce. Can you like actually never mind? <laughs> I was gonna say, can you like give the title of the Bruce to anyone who like gives someone a sick burn in the chapel? I feel like that should be used in the American context more with like waspy uh <laughs> with waspy folks like throwing shade at each other on Sundays. <laughs> How it goes it goes well. It goes well. We're getting into our next uh giant set. <laughs> Hopefully to someone named Bruce. <laughs> Super early workout set. That's right, Chris. How we doing? Good morning. Good to see ya. Of course we have to give uh can I get a shout out for terrible he when you get a chance geek <laughs> No, no rushies, but y'all, if you have not checked out Terrible Hime, get over there. Gosh, awesome, inclusive streamer. Uh, booty for days. I say, and we talked about this, I say this platonically. Booty for days. <laughs> Super strong. Chris and Joey are so strong, and they have such a cool setup. Poem by Robert Burns that has a line, bought and sold for English gold, and it outlines the loss of Scottishness. There's a real reason for the historic hatred between them. Oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. When you when you watch like the breakdowns of like everything, like start to finish, and every single every single um just like attempt either bureaucratically or physically to take over space, like it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Respectfully, respectfully, booty for days. <laughs> You're welcome, Chris. 
You're welcome. I hope you're having a good week. Hope you're having a good week. Starting off. Starting off. I mean, it's Wednesday, so by now, there's a chance to improve it if it's not going well. Overslept today and missed the one-to-one -one meeting with my boss and everyone was looking for me. She was a good sport. She didn't mind. That's good. That's so good. We have a social committee meeting uh, at, uh, at 8.30. We have a coffee, coffee, coffee meeting that we do virtually because a bunch of our team members don't go into the office. So now we just get together. And usually it's just me going into the meeting and sitting there and waiting for someone to join. I have shown up. Except for the days that I've been on vacation, I have shown up at every single social meeting on my office team. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Where get you get you a Navi. Okay. Where are the pull-ups? Oh, I don't know if that last one was a full pull-up. Dead hand it. Uh, hamstring bridges. Heels on the bench, a little further out than you would normally be for like a blue bridge. Pulling from the heels. Interesting. And then, and some curls. No. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Bi weekly happy hour. It's actually pretty nice. My small team, we usually talk about the shows we've been watching. See, that sounds good. That sounds good. I don't think anyone on my team really wants to do anything after work, which makes me kind of sad, you know? Like, pretty much every time I, uh, they like put out a survey to see when people would be down to get together. It's always, uh, everyone always picks mornings and during the work day. But to that, like everyone has a really strong commitment to like not communicating a ton outside of work hours, which is cool. Fucked out my work team, work get togethers and people that left the team. Join us as honorary members because we all get on and stay in contact. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Sheesh. Last team I worked with for two weekends in a row, we all went to a club and spent hundreds of shots alone. Then COVID shut down the gym. Oh. Jeez. Oh, See that? That? Oh, gosh. COVID messed up a lot of things, but like burgeoning social relationships that just got interrupted like that, that's rough. It's missed opportunities. To be fair, a happy hour is during work hours. Probably wouldn't do it if it was, ah, uh, uh, yes, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do. It's just like, we need to make sure we get an early release. We all hit up the, hit up the bar together. 
Hello, Bio. Welcome. Good morning. My wife, there it is. You can't hear it, but I can. I think in one night I alone had 14 tequilas, and that's... Oh. Oh. 14 shots tequila? No, thank you. Once on the species team, always on the species team. Plus, we are all quite outspoken, but equally socially awkward, so it's a strange mix. That sounds like a fun mix, you know? Folks that, like, really open up if you get them in the right space. Functioning, functioning introverts. That's not, no, I don't, I don't like that phrasing. I'm going to take that one back. I'll go with the first one. Just, like, folks that, like, open up a little more when you get them in the right context and you get them feeling comfortable. Um, that's certainly me. It takes me a little bit to, to really adjust to a group and feel good. Oh, boy, it's already 7 a.m., Let's keep this thing rolling. Fuck the morning bile. Wake up in the morning about 4 a.m. Have a little jelly, have a little jam. Take a piece of bread, put it in slot. Push down a lever and wire spin my Yeah, Now there's no secret to toasting perfection. Put a dial on the side and make your selection. <sighs> push down to the light or dark in then if pops too soon, push down again. Make toast. Ah, toast. Wow. Definitely helped me feel more okay with just being myself, letting the social mass drop a bit. Yeah. A coworker who was very introverted all of a sudden became the I love you guys, we need to hang out more. Oh, dude, where was that coming from? <laughs> you just need a you need to get it. You need to get people in that in that space. Backlighting up. Stars, thank you. Pretty pumped today, respectfully. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've been hitting arms three times a week lately. Three times a week on the bulk. It's been feeling good. It's been feeling good. Because I feel like when I shift to distance running, that's the first thing that, like, or if I drop creatine, that's the first thing that starts to just, like general advice to the dudes tell your dude friends you love them yes oh my gosh oh my gosh that spirit thanks to joe for making this walk in wholesome space oh, i appreciate you geek thank y'all for being here it is like so so validating to like get up in the morning and, and kick this thing on and have folks stop in and say hello and Feel comfortable chatting in here. Too many here have lost the fights. No, no, it's it's not it's not a downer. It's really real. Men's mental health is is it's a conversation that we got to keep having. 
You follow Nick Bear at all? I don't. Is uh is Nick Bear another fitness person, wellness dude? We were just talking about this in my stream yesterday. Ooh, I, if if you're comfortable saying more, do tell. Because I have a, I, I've really been trying to connect. Because you know I work in human resources and. There are not a lot of dudes in human resources, and the dudes in human resources, like, sometimes feel like they can't have a lot of work relationships because of the fact, like, you know, just like friendly work relationships because of the fact that, you know, most of your coworkers are female, right? Weightlifter guy who also does Iron Man's. Ooh. I really want to do an Iron Man someday, but that's a, that's a little bit of training away. Tell your homies you appreciate them. Yes. Yes. Say the things. And this is, I guess this is also a downer thing, but also a real thing. Like, you're never going to regret telling someone that you care about them. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe like once or twice, right? Someone's going to be like, but then do you really want that person in your life? Delivery is important too, but... HR is usually toxic. You're too wholesome. Well, some HR structures can be a little bit harmful, yeah. Can creatine go bad? I have creatine I bought like two years ago. As long as you kept it, um, uh, as long as you kept it dry, right, it should be fine. But you could just get some new creatine. Like, if you're worried about it, it's relatively cheap stuff. Get a new bucket, get on that train. Not a dude, but I hope it's okay to say I appreciate y'all. No, of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, oh, we don't have to get super sappy or anything, but it's nice to go the extra mile every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. No, I've been, I've, I've really like been in some rough spots, and it's been turned around by folks reaching out and saying like, "Hey man, hope you're doing well." Or like, "Hey man, I appreciate you." <laughs> like it, it, it makes someone's day, because like. Gosh, what is the rule? It's like for every four, it's like for every one like negative message that you get, and this is like dependent on severity, for every like one negative message you get, it takes five to six positive affirmations to like not erase that, but to like get you through it, you know? Somewhere between five and six for most folks. A friend of mine recently had a kid who's been able to go out and hang out. Obviously, as a kid, priorities change. Uh, and I just randomly called him one day and chatted for an hour or two. Now he's regularly playing cob with us social time. That's so cool. Thank you for the hydrate, Dodge. Hello, good morning. So stressed between a kid and moving house that hasn't been able to talk to any of us for a while. I just appreciated someone calling him to talk to. This is inspiring me. I need to make a phone call today. Like, like 100% serious. I gotta make a phone call happen today. <laughs> Three kids, I understand how that affects you when you're not available to hang out and get left behind. Yeah. Well, and the hard thing, too, is, like, you know, when life gets busy and you say no, like, you say no because you need to, right? Like, nowhere in, like, social needs should you ever erase the, the idea that sometimes you just, you got to say no to protect your energy and protect, like, make sure you maintain an appropriate stress level. Um, it's, it's okay to say no. And... Uh, try not to take a no as a signal from others that they're not interested like 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 friends right like this dude to dude friends right um if it's like a if you're like coming on to someone and they say no take that seriously but like if someone can't hang out like don't take one no as a as a signal that they don't want to spend time with you <laughs> toss my salad around hello good morning how are you doing today let's uh, let's get some more pull-ups in
<laughs> no. Ugh, this is so ugly. Give me a drop so that you good on these. Ooh. Oh, curls. Right. Cheating with cheat face. <laughs> Months of that chatting and still meet. It's like we were 16 again. Yes. Jamps are hard. Eight feet tall. Can't find a bar line. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm actually eight foot two, so watch yourself not matching. Heard that negative comment. <laughs> Give me four positive ones. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Elderly neighbor, 80s, mid 80s husband died. Kids move away. Go weeks without talking to anyone. I'm a surrogate grandson. Realized I go weeks without opening my mouth to talk. Started the year I tried talking to people at the gym, calling people. Certainly helped my confidence. More importantly, it's helped others. Yes. <sighs> no, it is a. Uh, it is a generous thing, like to give your energy to other people for a conversation or a check in. 100%. I think I tweeted the other day, like, you know, every once in a while the right person asks you, like, how are you really doing? In the US, it's like, good morning, how you doing? But like, when someone's like, really, like, how are you doing? Right person hits you at the right time, it's just like, ooh, you asked, and I'm so here for this conversation right now. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Yes, yes. Wouldn't a room slightly, a slightly smaller equipment be hilarious? Make you feel like one of those seven foot strong men. Oh my gosh, yes. Wendell, hello. Good morning. Well, hey, we're all done with pull ups, friendos. Uh, we programmed six. We gotta make some adjustments here. And that's okay. That's okay. But we have another thing that we completed. <laughs> if only. Gosh. I mean, I already eat enough being five foot ten and one seventy five ish. Closer to one get creeping up closer to one eighty now. But uh Yikes. I can't imagine like the cost of being that large of a human being. I know, like, you, you, you do tournaments and get sponsorships and you get paid, but, like, man, just to sustain yourself, I'm in no way good at it. Like, I'm still shit, I'm introverted. Resolution was to be better at that and improve, become that extroverted introvert. That's the way. Commit to it. Commit to it in practice. It's like anything else, it's a skill. People don't treat it often enough like it's a skill that you can work on. Like we do have a, a part of us that is like nurture. You know, they've done studies with babies 
and like how they react to different environments and like monitoring brain waves and like there is a difference in like longitudinal studies with people who identify as being introverted uh when they were babies how their brains reacted to like uh, a room with like lots of people in it or lots of voices versus those that are identify that identify as extroverts so it's a sliding scale it's not one or the other but there's something there in fact you're working on your own goals obviously improving other people's lives too yes yes cost is having to buy two airplane tickets to fly anywhere comfortably <laughs> oh man i want sponsorship too it's expensive tom have you have you asked anyone like serious question I still I, I still shoot my shot with uh, with companies once in a while, like I reached out to V8 to ask them for a sponsorship. They shot me down, but I did ask. Brian Shaw when competing is twelve thousand cows, fifteen thousand. I mean, you just got to be eating the entire day. And how do you how do you stay hungry enough? Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna move on into our our last little portion here. So let's just uh, make some adjustments. Are y'all enjoying the music? Because I can't hear it because of my laptop fan. Just drink olive oil. <laughs> my God. <laughs> okay. So I need, yes. Which dumbbell do I want to use? There's sixty and seventy. Now I'll do it. Eh, yeah, I'll do it this way. That's fine. Not the workout. It's the setup for the workout. Takes so much dang time. There we go. Never asked for a sponsorship before. Not really a go-getter in that area of social media stuff. Yeah, I've only had like two situations where I've directly asked and it has uh, turned into something. And then what they wanted was like an affiliate ship that really didn't benefit me. So, like in the bops here, Arctic Monkeys, all good. Okay, I'm going to do one quick bio break before I get into this next set. I will be right back. I'm going to run an ad. I'll see you in a moment. All right, we're back. 
So I did not say baño break, I said bio break. <laughs> which is parlance that I picked up in my old job. But I can start calling baño break. Leg lifts, band press outs, bio break. It just feels so neutral, you know? Press out. Come out. Right side first. Stepping out. All the way through the chest. Tom Stotman, fellow countryman, 6'6", six, six, again, eats 14,000 calories. <sighs> Some dude on YouTube went viral recently for doing like a 400-pound toss-up searcher. Turns out he's like 6'9", and 3... Oh my god! Guess what, everyone? We're living in the age of the giants. It's now. <laughs> I think many of you knew that already though. All right, one more ab move in the circuit. Say so every inch is about 10 pounds lean mass. 200 pound dude, six foot, incomparable, 290, 6'9. Oh. Yeah. So I'm about, yeah, like I said, I'm about, I'm getting close to 180 now. And I'm 5'10. I need to clean this bad boy out. We can uh, update this now. To reflect what we're actually doing. 
Tom Havlin, what an IRL Captain America would look like. Hang on, let me look this dude up. I know I should have seen him already. Oh yeah. That's a big... That's a big human. That is a very large human being. I just, I really wish I had space and equipment to do um, farmer carries. Man handles weight, it's wild. He's huge. The photos that I just saw, that man is enormous. He's saying I have to listen to what Fallout Boys, and you can't even hear it. Yep. I mean, I can kind of hear it. I can hear it when I'm standing right here. That's when I, uh, that's when I move away. Things get a little less, uh, a little less clear. <laughs> okay. That's one set down. Let's get it, friends. There, this one's probably better for you, Tom. In fact, yeah. Since I'm doing everything like down here, might as well just straight. Uh, as we're wrapping up, what's everyone got planned for the rest of the day? What's going on? What's good? Six eight strong is F and aesthetic. That's the dream. That's the dream. Maybe he got the super CM IRL, not just the usual trend. <laughs> oh. Next I'm gonna hear you drive a Lambo. I don't want to drive a Lambo though. That's a lot of pressure. What if you crash one? <laughs> Andy! Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm returning. My lungs don't hurt. Yes. Oh, welcome back, you know. You wouldn't fit, yeah. Ah, oh, that's right, the VFs. One more move.
<laughs> Whatever monster truck that is not a full monster truck. <laughs> not matching, that's true. Pickup trucks are so expensive. So stinking expensive. This will do it. I'm great. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I need to, uh, I think she can hear me. And, uh, I kind of hope she can. Just want to give a shout to my wifey. Um, today's going to be a really long day. And, uh, you know, she didn't have to get up and help out with morning preparations and coffee and breakfast and all that. But, um, I can, like, hear her getting coffee ready upstairs. Because I'm going to have to roll out of here and get ready for work right away. So, my wife. <laughs> uh, I know you're not on the stream, honey, but thank you. I appreciate her so much. Two seats and a bed at 40k to the price over a van with the same frame. <laughs> we love the wifey. We love wifey runnings. I'm so appreciative. So appreciative. I will not let it go unspoken. All right. That's two sets down. We got one more. Shall we do it? Shall we do it and stop dilly dallying? Dilly dally. Uh, McCurse, hello. How we doing? Good morning. Wait, hold on. Dang, hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, hello. Sorry. I was doing the stuff. Dang, autocorrect. Hello. Hello, welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Oh, how are we doing? My name is Joe. I go by Cool Runnings here on Twitch. I use he, him pronouns. I'm a variety streamer. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we lift. Tuesday, Sundays, we play games. Thursdays, we read books. Welcome. Welcome in, Raiders. Anichan123, hello, hello. Dang, how was the stream today? What were you doing? You're playing some music? Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> well, welcome in. Uh, we're an inclusive space here. Um, we're, we just believe in getting moving however you can, doing what feels right for your body, treating life like an experiment and getting better every day. Or not, resting when you need to. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give y'all a quick little raid video. I don't get to raid you because you stream really late for me. I finally got to raid you today. Yes, yes. I'm so glad. I'm so thankful. Oh, Raiders, I'm going to give y'all a quick raid video and let you know what we're all about here. And I'll see you in just a second. I need to go and get my foam roller. I left it downstairs. Be right back. Her husband followed, ejaculating. As my brother began to realize... Look at his booty. Look at that booty. Egg, toast, and sausages. Sausage. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. What? Hold on. Everything's gonna be okay. I'll be right back. We can we can have a robe off. Yeah, but, just... but keep the robes on. Thanks, <laughs> Mooch. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for joining Raiders. And Obsidian Doggo, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. 
I do love Evie. If y'all want to see Evie, let me know. Now is the time. We're gonna get some band press outs. And we're actually wrapping up, because I gotta get off to work. This is my last, last little bit here. So yeah, let me know if you wanna meet the doggo. I believe we could pull the Raiders out. Pull the doggo out for the Raiders. <laughs> Chris, good morning. Yeah, uh, Dan, can you tell us more about what you were doing music-wise? Were you, uh, were you singing along? Were you playing some guitar? <laughs> There's the Redeem. I'll get her down here in just a second. Can I call her down? Yeah. Evie. Fucking sweet girl. Good morning. Good morning. She says good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places. Where the hell is my breakfast? Oh, she just got breakfast. Okay. Okay. Let me hey, Evie, not. Come here. Okay. Okay. Come on. Fine. <laughs> oh, she was so mad. She's got a full belly, and I scooped her up. She didn't like that very much. <laughs> <laughs> Play the guitar to accompany myself when I'm singing. I love it. I love it. Here we go. All right, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. I unfortunately have to get off. Um, off to the races, off to the rat race. My show is, uh, or my, my job is not that rat race it's actually pretty pretty chill for the most part but um doesn't mean <laughs> fulfillment of prosperity thank you so much for the follow welcome to the run club so i'm gonna bring y'all over to see hannah um if you have not yes raid train yes yeah, sorry sorry about it dang um so we're going to uh bring y'all over to see lamadia hannah is one of our cosmic hearts team members um just absolutely the poison, the poison for Cusco, the poison chosen specially to kill Cusco, Cusco's poison. I hope you'll consider <laughs> joining us on that raid. Uh, grab this second raid command if you are a subscriber, and it will work for you. Peace and love, everyone. Call your homies, call your homies, call your friends, tell them you care about them, send them a text or, or something. But yes, I'm going to be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. For, uh, for some reads, and then back again on Friday for a lifty lift. Thank you for hanging out with me on this early, early bird lift. Um, if you want to follow us on the social medias, you can do that there. If you want to get in on this Discord and uh, join in on the conversation off stream, keep up with things, uh, pictures of doggos, pictures of darn good food, um, world discussions and conversations, it's great. Have an awesome day, everyone. Be kind to yourself, be kind to someone else. Uh, do a little something that fills your tank if you can, and just, uh, yeah, let someone know you care about them. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Let's go see Hannah.